Hello Cancer, welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a Celtic Cross reading for the next 30 days for Cancer. So Cancer, we're going to start out right now with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle, then I will do the tarot part of the reading. We'll go into some tea leaf and at the end we'll do angel answers. All right, so this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And Cancer, remember to check your other signs. There could be additional messages there for you. Okay, so from the spirit of the animals, you've got the black jaguar, an old soul, beautiful. It says, walk through life with confidence and grace. You have the power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want and you can create your dreams. Beautiful. All right, powerful energy there. <clears throat> All right, so that was the spirit of the animals. I'm going over to the everyday witch tarot for your Celtic cross reading. And like I said, we'll also do a little bit of tea leaf and at the end I'll do angel answers. So if you have a particular question, you can reflect on that, but you don't have to. All right, so what do we have for Cancer for the next 30 days? This is for Cancer. All right. So the main energy around you, we have the Seven of Wands, an energy of defensiveness and holding your ground about something. But this is also about achievement, reaching a certain level where um, you're beyond the energies of other people you are competing with. <clears throat> you were competing with. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. All right. So. The energy surrounding that we have the three of wands seeing some results moving forward and seeing some results results coming in um seeing ships come in um based on your efforts okay so in your subconscious um what's grounding you is the strength card also there could be some leo energy here so there could be leo in your chart or a particular leo in your life um this is the strength of moving forward taming your um your talents and your powers and kind of um containing them harnessing them see that tornado is behind her okay those tumultuous winds are behind her and with her she's kind of tamed the beast tamed this lion her companion okay so she has learned to befriend her inner energies that were once tumultuous and all over the place she has befriended that she's on the other side of this the winds are blowing that storm away behind her recent past experiences we have the eight of swords so you've been experiencing some difficulties and you feel trapped by them you feel completely entrapped but the good news is that this is a past card past energies and there's a little bird here this little bird is saying look let's go this way you're actually free if you open your eyes if you take the blindfold off slip your your hands out of those ties that you've wrapped them around and walk this way. The swords can't hurt you. They're in the ground. They're practically sheathed. They can't hurt you. Take your broom, you know, take your vehicle, whatever that vehicle is. It could be your feet, you know, and walk through here. Follow me. I have an important message for you. The sweet little bird is like, come on, let's go this way. There's great things over here. Why are you still over here crying? That's over. That's in the past. Okay, in your conscious mind, the four of pentacles, knowing that you have enough, knowing that you're secure and are okay, it's just that you're fearful to do anything with your savings, with your achievements. I'm getting someone listening. You have credentials, but you're afraid to put them to use, okay? And it's time to, it's time to, and this money will grow, okay? Whatever you have achieved, like whether it's money or achievements, um, you can make it grow and put it to use and bring, bring money your way, okay? And near future energies, we have the nine of swords, so still experiencing some what ifs, some worry, some sleepless nights. And again, there's a little, little bird on this card too, this little, um, cardinal so if you like um symbolisms look up the cardinal and the blue jay i think the other one was a blue jay the sun is shining out the window she doesn't want to look see and like in the eight of swords if i can get to it the witch on the eight of swords she's not wanting to see either but going from the eight to the nine she's starting to consider like hmm you know maybe i could look out there i'll just look for now i'll just look but i'm i don't think i want to go there and then, you know, it's like you see the sun, you see the bird, you see the bird is free. 
you want to be free too. All these books surrounding you, surrounding her, I should say, in this card, represent knowledge. Like knowledge will set you free, okay? There's something you need to learn, some knowledge you need to gain that will then set you free. This could be education, this could be new credentials that bring you freedom because you have, um, you have um, something extra to put on your resume that will increase your earning capabilities, your earning capacity. Um, this could be ideas for starting a new business or something like that. Okay, so um, your current, what am I trying to say? This represents you, the Five of Swords. Okay, so we have more limiting energy here. Um, there could be people in your environment, in the workspace, or in your home. It could be friends disagreeing. There's drama here. This could represent you battling like different aspects of yourself too, and um, not wanting to look forward. Rather, like get caught. Your rat. Am I trying to say? Rather, you're getting caught up in drama energy or feeling like you can't win. Um, it's like continuing to hit brick walls and then wanting to give up, but it's time to move away from this. Like um, the energies of people around you or certain situations around you are rubbing off in a negative way, like on you and others. And like, see even the cats here on the ground, like they're kind of discontent too because the humans are just like throwing accusations around, um, they're being haphazard. So it's time for you <clears throat> to pull away from those energies, look within, focus on yourself and realize you can free yourself. You can free yourself from the chaos. And I think it, it has to start with freeing yourself from chaos in your environment. And then you will slowly free yourself from your internal chaos where there's like the sleepless nights and the endless worries and whatnot. As you start to put things into motion, you have achievement here. Like in the beginning here with the seven of wands, let me move that aside. You have achievement here, okay? So these people around here that have once pointed the finger at you, they've once competed with you or tried to drag you down, they can't touch you anymore. So you're still in this energy of like, it will always be that way. I always have to fight and suffer for anything that I gain, but that's not the case anymore. It's time to turn around. So a lot of this um, reading so far, Cancer, is the energy of turning your focus around away from the past, okay? And I do like this card here, the Four of Pentacles. Um, it does show like hesitancy, but it also does show balance. So there's financial balance here and your money can grow. It's time to think about how you can make it grow and how you can earn more money, whether you are applying for new jobs, new positions. I'm getting somebody listening. Like um, you're feeling very stuck because of um, the people that you work with. There's a lot of negativity there and their ideas about whether or not they can progress forward into something new or different or out of that particular company um, or that they like, they, they'll never get anywhere. And that's not really how you think or believe, but their negativity is rubbing off on you and you're starting to kind of um, resonate with their lower vibing energies because it's just so, um, so, pulling it's like pulling you right but the good thing here is like he's sitting pretty he's doing okay he's just like i gotta get out of here but i don't know where to go so i'm just gonna hide right here and again here's a little kitty on this card like the birds and the other cards saying look there's an open window like there's another way you can make your money grow you can make your talents grow you can put your talents to good use and start earning money um, based on your talents, um, your credentials, your education, um, you know, things that you've learned along the way. Okay, and here we have the Three of Swords. There's a healing coming in for you. This is your environment, okay? So there's um, something painful here, a painful energy, and I think it's a painful realization. There's a healing here, three days, three weeks, three months. There's rain outside this window here, rain and clouds, but that always clears up, okay? On the bed here, we have a journal. <clears throat> Maybe it's time to put your thoughts in writing to change the energy of them. Um, we see the curtains are blowing in the wind. So the, the wind indicates energy. And I'm also noticing the dip in the pillow here. So I'm getting like somebody has decided to get up, um, stop, stop resonating with the negative people and situations around them and um, moving on moving on to something better, healthier, okay? And once you shed all of that negativity or being around those negative energies, your energy is lighter and then you're more open to the good, healthy things, the exciting things that you want in your life. 
<clears throat> and also open to welcome or uh, yeah welcoming your achievements okay because see the energy around the seven of wands i can't even pick that up for some reason okay the energy around that seven of wands is the three of wands okay you've achieved something here now there's an energy of calm ships coming in like he's watching his ships or she he or she i'm not sure is watching their ships coming in there's always a companion on these cards there's that little black cat and this person has taken their hat off they put their broom down taking a break and creating magic with that wand okay so this energy is turned from like negativity being pointed at you and um people trying to stop you to you generating your own energy creating something okay I'm liking the beautiful pink sky on this card right now. Okay, so if you're drawn to colors, um, focus on that. Maybe meditate on that color. Okay, so where are we? So um, hopes, fears, and advice. The Ace of Swords. Search for new ideas. Clarity. Reach for clarity. The Ace of Swords is different than the Five of Swords, okay? The Ace of Swords is bringing everything together, bringing clarity together. This is chaos. This is not, okay, the Ace of Swords is direction. <clears throat> it's direction, it's victory and accomplishment, and it's also a beginning, a new beginning with clarity and a new plan. I like that, I love that. All right, so your outcome card here is the Ace of Wands, another Ace, beautiful, something new here, new ideas, new passionate ideas. I like the fire here, the fire indicates passion, and look at all these ideas. There's music notes, a wand, a paintbrush, a paint palette, a map, a book, a quill, okay? And she's looking at all of these things in wonderment, but she's considering them, okay? There's a gift coming in for you. Cancer, a beautiful gift. There's something new here for you. Um, <clears throat> I just um, finished a bunch of money and career readings, so you might want to look into those. Um, they're all timeless, but um, I think the most recent one might um, connect well with this reading. So you might want to watch that one as well. <clears throat> And I'm noticing the cat on this card is patiently waiting for her companion, for her, her human companion to figure this all out. But it's becoming more exciting. This energy has turned to wonderment, okay? Pulling out of chaos, pulling out of ener um, energies that are um, <clears throat> chaotic in your environment to more um, <clears throat> of wonderment like we see in this card. Making a plan. I'm, I'm getting really strongly. I'm going to hold these up together making a plan a plan of action and there's clarity here because you are cleaning up your environment maybe your physical environment as well like meaning <clears throat> your home your office space um, maybe do some dusting cleaning organizing that's going to help as well so like cleaning up um, cleaning up your life energetically um, having to do with your surroundings in many ways okay like your the people that you're dealing with um your work environment but then also like literally cleaning and organizing things all right so let's go over here to the tea leaf fortune cards i get a couple messages here for you cancer whoops all righty what do we have for cancer <clears throat> Speaking of cats, I have some kitty visitors. Somebody is opening the door and letting my cats in one by one. <laughs> Talk about companionship, right? Okay, we have the parrot. Okay, it says, someone will gossip about all your secrets. So be very careful who you share your deepest secrets with, um, your deepest dreams, and also if you are taking action in, say, looking for a new job or starting your own business on the side. So be careful not to share that with someone in the workplace, even if you consider them a friend, because then you'll be in this energy. I can't even pick up these cards. I don't know why. There we go. You'll be in this energy of the seven of wands where like people are like coming at you pointing the finger like how dare you leave us like you're like us you're not better than us how dare you leave us how dare you even consider it right so it says someone will gossip about all your secrets so it's important to be very careful not to share that um with people in the workplace okay even if it's someone you think you can trust i mean maybe you can but remember that they are also in the same environment um, that you are and they may accidentally slip and share something okay and that's happened to me before you know like um in the workplace I just um I just you know 
had needed someone to talk to and the people I was exposed to were the people that I worked with. So I said something to someone I thought I could trust and it really backfired in a bad way and it went on for years, so be careful of that. Okay, we have the owl. It says good advice from a wise person. So um, there's someone coming in here. Look out for that. Good advice from a wise person. Could be an older person, but not necessarily. And we have a month of the year. We have April. So um, at the time of this reading, April is coming up. So I'm getting a lot of growth and a lot of proof of growth coming this April. You're going to actually see a change, okay? A change in um, in your life in a positive way, growth in a positive direction. Oh, I didn't even shuffle this, this half of the deck. Bear with me a moment. I need to give this half of the deck a little shuffle. All right, what else do we have from the tea leaf fortune for cancer cracked up? Okay, dissatisfaction with life. So that's where you're coming out of and you're healing from this, okay? All right, what else for cancer? All right. Dissatisfaction with life. And I think that like that dissatisfaction is represented here and it's become unbearable. And you're like, all right, that's it. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> I'm done with this. There's gotta be something else. Bird flying, news is on the way. Okay, this could be a message about uh, a job offer. Um, you may be um, asked to come back for a second interview or a first interview, something like that. And we have the arrow. You are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Awesome. Very beautiful messages here. So I'm gonna jump over to the angel answers. Whoops, gotta pop out already. So if you had a question, um, you can focus on that now. You don't have to though, whatever's meant to come out will. Okay, it's not the right time for something. I'm getting it's not the right time to share your new ideas with someone, share the fact that you want to look for a new job. Um, maybe you can share that with a work friend after you've done it already. Do you know what I mean? Like wait till after. I'm getting like someone has a strong work friend. You wanna keep that friend. You're dying to share this information with them, but it's not the right time because you still work there. So don't let that person know until you let your bosses and everyone else know. And that particular person will probably still be your friend after. But some of the others probably won't because they're just, they're just not vibing where you're going. All right, what else do we have for cancer? All right, Cancer, we have perfect timing. So there is perfect timing for something else. And you will know when this um, opportunity comes in, it'll feel just right. You'll know it's perfect timing. You'll know that that is for you. All right, one more from here for Cancer. Get more information, okay? This could be about a job. This could be about someone that you're interested in possibly dating. Um, I don't know why this popped into my head, but somebody is considering um, taking in a foreign exchange student. Where did that come from? I have no idea. I haven't thought about something like that in ages. So um, get more information about this. If you're considering that, figure out how it works. Um, you know, I, I really have no idea myself, but um, get more information for others of you. This is about inquiring about a new job. Um, if someone wants to um, have you come in for an interview, remember you are also interviewing the employer. Don't be afraid to ask for everything that you need to know concerning this position, okay? And again, if it, if it has to do someone that you're interested in dating, get as much information as you can before your first meeting. Very interesting messages here, Cancer. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.